Hey everybody, Haunted Ramblings here, and I'm not sure if you're going to see it on both Haunted Ramblings and on Rambling Brambles DIY. Um, I got this at a yard sale, it was brand new. Um, I have used it one other time after I got it, but it only has one rack with it. I, I ended up having to go online and purchase the 2 inch rack, which is the one that I use the most. I had one, and a friend of mine needed a way to cook because he doesn't have a stove or anything. And this one come in this carry bag, which is really cool, and it's the white one. This does not have the additional rings or none of that. Um, I love the new way. I love how it cooks, um, and honestly. Um, for 20 bucks at a yard sale, you better believe I'm going to get one. So I'm going to pause you while I take it out of this because I need both hands. And I don't want to drop anything. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this off. This is the cooker part. This is where all the stuff happens. It has all of the um, controls. And this is... Um, the New Wave Pro. Um, I have the New Wave Pro that I gave to my friend because he didn't have a way to cook at the time and he was waiting to get his disability. So um, he didn't have a stove. He was cooking with a uh, you know, frying pan and a microwave and um, his toaster oven quit. So, you know, it is what it is. So. I love cooking with this and I really love cooking chicken in it because all the grease goes down into the bottom pan and the chicken cooks quicker and e more even and I just love cooking in this. I've done pizzas in it. I've done all kinds of stuff in it. So um, I've only cooked, like I said, one time in this one. I'm going to take and go ahead and take this rack out. This is the one inch and three inch rack. Like I said, the best way to cook most of the stuff is with a two inch rack. I'm going to go ahead and get this out of my way for right now. Whoop. And I'm going to take this three inch, see this is the one inch, and then turn it up this way. You've got three inches. This is really too close for the chicken. And this is way too far away. It takes way too long. Um, I'm going to put my 2 inch rack in. I've rinsed it off. So you've seen anything. It's where I've rinsed off all the... Um, and then I set it over here on top of the loaf of bread. So I have breadcrumbs on it. So wipe the breadcrumbs back off, Laura. <laughs> so there is that. And I'm going to go ahead and get my chicken on here and I just put my chicken in and I don't like pieces of the chicken um what do you call this feathers you know the stems off the feather whatever you call it I try to pull them out hold on a second I'm gonna get a knife and get rid of that Okay, because my hands got messy taking, got rid of all the chicken zits. Sorry, I guess they're actually like pin feather kind of things. Um, you know, I just don't like the way they look. And, you know, I just didn't want them on my chicken. I just kind of put some, and yes, I cook with my hands. My hands are clean, trust me. And I also kind of washed off my chicken earlier and um, you can if you want put water in the bottom um, I probably will put some water in the bottom of this um, get off my fingers and let me pause you a second while I wipe off my hand I'm gonna go ahead and add my water 
just enough so that there's water in there. You don't have to have a lot. That's probably about maybe, I don't know, three quarters of a cup. And I just simply shake on whatever seasonings I feel like putting on. Salt. Pepper. Definitely want some garlic on there. Now I did put my smallest piece of chicken in the center and the last thing I'm going to put on and it's not going to be out of that container. Hold on while I grab some poultry seasoning. Okay, so the first 20 minutes is over. I'm going to have to unplug this and take this off the counter um, because I have no counter space, let's face it. Um, and then we'll turn the chicken over. I'm going to let the steam go that way. Uh, let's get this out of the way. In case you're wondering, I have a... Um, step stool setting right here and this is 20 minutes guys shake that off look at that that's 20 minutes it's about halfway cooked i could tell you the big one is not about halfway cooked he's probably gonna need whoop he squirted a little more than 20 minutes um Oh, look at that. That has a lot of, uh, what do you call them things? Pin feathers. I'm going to get rid of that. I don't want that in my food. Nope. Not happening. Those are some nice pieces. I do not buy my meat at Walmart. Just so you know. And by the way, there's a clean towel on my step stool. My step stool was wiped off, just an FYI, before anybody makes any smart comments. I'm not, I'm not my ex family. Good God, those people were dirty. I should say my ex in laws, you know. All right, so we're gonna cook time. I think we're gonna give it. Let's try an additional 15 minutes at high power. Start. I probably could have gone ahead and put it in for 20 and then just paused it. But we're going to go ahead and do 15 because I know it's going to need 15. And I'll bring you back on when the 15 minutes is up. Okay, everybody, it just shut off. I'm going to unplug this. And I did give it a couple minutes so that the steam wasn't quite so bad this time. And I know that these three smaller pieces or four smaller pieces are going to be done. I'm going to give it a slice and show you. How absolutely juicy and cooked this is. It's dripping. 
I know my lighting's not very good. But, and you know what I think I'm going to do? Is I'm going to give all of this, because that still felt a little bit, like I said, I knew 15 minutes might not have been enough. I think I'm going to let him cook a little longer. This one I know is done. Look at him. He's such a little baby piece. I'm going to take him and that middle piece off. We get a plate. The two thicker pieces are going, the other thicker pieces are going to stay on there. And I'm going to give them their extra time that they need. But those two baby pieces are coming off. Now we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and cook these other pieces because I think they need it. Be right with you. Okay, guys, so it is done. They did cook an extra um, five minutes for the big pieces. So all together, the small pieces cooked 35 minutes on high power, and the big pieces cooked 40 minutes. 20 minutes turned over and finished the time for uh, on the other side. And I wanted to put a bigger piece on my plate so that you could see. Now, remember, this is a big piece, so they cut farther down into the dark meat. Um how nice and white and tender this is down in here. Let me just try to pull up a piece and show you if I can get it up out of there. Get my knife out of it. Look at that. Nice and tender and juicy. Still very moist. I'm not going to eat all this, guys. I just did this for uh, the video. And then I have with it the Idahoan... Um, Instant potatoes, uh, parsley garlic, I believe is what they're called. Um, roasted garlic. Sorry about that. Roasted garlic I got today at the food pantry. I'm going to go have something to eat. I'm tired. It's been a long day and it's late. So everybody have a most wonderful day. Take care. Have a good day. Enjoy.